I know, I know, it's been a while since I last uploaded a video, but today I'm back with something some of you guys have been requesting for a while now. A video on pickup trucks. And I'll be honest, pickup trucks are a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I still decided to take a crack at it. Today I'll be showing you five reliable pickup trucks you guys can buy for less than $10,000. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Christian and this is Vehicle Virals. If you guys end up enjoying the video, make sure to subscribe for more automotive content. Now, let's begin. The first reliable truck is a 2008 Chevy Silverado. I'll tell you now, this is a top pick amongst the list. There's a reason it was named 2007 North America Truck of the Year. From multiple trim levels, cab sizes, bed lengths, and engine types available within the used market world, you're sure to find the right one for you. The exterior has a pure pickup truck look and sits lower than most full-size pickup trucks, making it easier to load with both cargo and, of course, people. Let's all be honest, we all know that's someone that has difficulty getting into a truck. Moving on to the interior, it's very friendly for those that like to get dirty. The Silverado has knobs, switches, and door handles that can easily be operated while wearing gloves. Controls are noticeably bigger on the pure pickup trim like the WT and the LT trim, while the LTZ model leans more towards a more upscale look. Instrument panels are pushed forward and sit lower for better front visibility and a sense of more space. Some unique interior features include a lockable storage under the front bench-like seats, a 12-volt power outlet, and power-adjustable pedals. Like I said earlier, there are many engine variants, ranging from a 4.3-liter V6 with 195 horsepower and 260 60 pound feet of torque to the Silverado's most powerful 6 liter V8 engine that produces 367 horsepower and 375 pound feet of torque. There's an interesting fact about all the V8 engines that are offered within the 2008 Silverado. They're run by an active fuel management system that cuts operations of four cylinders when they're unneeded, which results in a slight increase in fuel efficiency. Honestly, it's extremely hard finding a bad review in the 2008 Chevy Silverado, and it's just under the F 150 when it comes to sales. You can get one for just under $10,000 with around 80,000 miles on it or for as low as $7,000 with around 150,000 miles on it. The next truck is a 2008 Dodge Dakota. If you need a truck that you can easily maneuver throughout congested city traffic and crowded parking lots, this truck does it very well, but by no means is this a little pickup truck. Actually at the time it offered the most power and largest interior in its class. Styling on the outside is not the most impressive, but honestly this truck is about utility rather than its appearance. If you purchase a V8 engine version of the Dakota, you will have the towing capacity of more than 7,000 pounds. The interior quality? Well, there is no quality, which is actually somewhat of a good thing if you ask me. Perfect for not caring about it. Feel free to trash it. If you opt in for the extended cab, forget fitting anyone comfortably in the rear seats. You'll be lucky if your dog doesn't complain about feeling cramped. If you're looking for more passenger room, get the crew cab. There is also plenty of storage available within the cabin. You might actually find it very challenging trying to use them all up. Under the rear seats, you'll also get two pop-up black bins to store smaller items that sort of resemble milk crates. When it comes to performance, you can find a Dakota with either an automatic transmission or manual with your choice of a 3.7 liter V6 engine that produces 210 horsepower and 230 pound feet of torque or the 4.7 liter V8 engine that produces 302 horsepower and 329 pound feet of torque. If you're looking for a truck that offers maneuverability of a small truck combined with big towing capacity and seating up to six people, the Dakota might be the right fit for you. You can find them for as low as $8,500 with less than 100,000 miles on them. Up next is a 2009 Nissan Frontier, pretty much a smaller version of the Nissan Titan. In fact, it's one of the most reliable trucks you can get for the price. According to user reviews and high dependability ratings from both Consumer Reports and JD Power, when it comes to ride quality, the Frontier shines. It handles and rides better than some sedans, providing a quiet and comfortable ride. With so many SUVs and crossovers around, the Frontier does a good job at being an all-purpose vehicle, especially if you decide to go for the crew cab variant. The exterior is one of the better looking pickup trucks for the year in my opinion and features the same beefy frame pulled from the Titan. The bed offers a utility track system that makes it easy to transport cargo loads safely. As far as the interior goes, you get some cool unique features like your front passenger seat that folds flat for increased cargo space, dual stacked glove boxes, multiple 12 volt power outlets, removable storage boxes beneath the rear seats, a tray built into the top of the dashboard perfect for carrying small items, and even a one liter cup holder built into the front doors. Finally, a cup holder that can actually fit a big gulp. Ultimately, you get a very simple interior when it comes to controls. It won't have you looking for the owner's manual. You have the choice of purchasing the Frontier with two different engines. The more fuel efficient 2.5 liter four cylinder engine that produces a measly 152 horsepower and 171 pound feet of torque. And the more powerful four liter V6 engine that produces 261 horsepower and 281 pound feet of torque, which can tow up to 6,500 pounds. 
and like most trucks you can opt in for the manual or automatic transmission. While the Nissan Frontier is much harder to find than the other trucks for under $10,000, they are out there. I was able to find some for just under $10,000 with around 130,000 miles on them. Fourth reliable pickup truck is the 2008 Ford F-150. It would be a crime not to include America's best selling pickup truck on this list. Some years weren't very dependable, but the 2008 model was known as being very reliable. Even if you're not a pickup truck type of person, it's hard not to like the F-150. Unlike its competitors, it's much more quiet during rides. It's better looking inside, spacious, and it has above average safety ratings. Some of the outside styling was borrowed from the F-350 Tonka concept truck at the time. The F-150 carries a cargo management system that consists of two rails, a pair of bins, a pair of crossbars, and a header bar. And when it comes to towing, it carries massive loads without breaking a sweat. Especially if you opt in for the bigger V8 engine, you'll be able to haul up to 11,000 pounds. The F-150 pretty much excels in every category, but when it comes to performance, it's lacking a bit compared to other full-size pickup trucks around the same year. Three engine variants are available. A 4.2 liter V6 engine that produces 202 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. A 4.6 liter V8 engine that produces 248 horsepower and 290 pound-feet of torque and a 5.4 liter V8 engine that produces 300 horsepower and 360 pound-feet of torque. Not really that impressive, but it's good enough. There are only a few things more American than a pickup truck and honestly there's no other pickup truck that's more American than the F-150. I'd like to mention as well that you can purchase a equally as reliable 2008 Ford Ranger for under $10,000 for those that want a smaller pickup. Thanks to the large amount of F-150s sold, there are many variants available for under $10,000. I was able to find them for as low as $7,500 with around 100,000 miles on them. The fifth and final reliable pickup truck is the GMC Canyon. This is pretty much a mirror image of its sister vehicle, the Chevy Colorado. But unlike the Colorado, the Kenya has a few upscale touches to distinguish both of them. This truck features a body on frame design, which results in it being extremely rigid, which can be more notably felt around corners while driving. When it comes to the exterior, you'll notice the bulging fender flares that give it a wider aggressive design. A bed length of 6 foot or 5 foot for the crew cab model. The bed also has tall side walls for deeper storage. In fact, at the time it had the best in-class cargo volume available. The bed can also carry up to 2400 pounds of load. The tailgate also lays flat at a 55 degree angle making it much easier for loading large flat panels. The interior offers durable cloth comfortable seats that provide very good lumbar support. Overall, the interior is highly functional. When it comes to safety, this was one of the only trucks at the time that came with side curtain airbag standard, which protect passengers in an event of a side impact accident. Moving on to the performance, you'll be able to find the GMC Canyon with three different engine variants. Ranging from a 2.9 liter inline four that produces 185 horsepower and 190 pound feet of torque, to their most powerful engine, a V8 5.3 liter that produces 300 horsepower and 320 pound feet of torque. You can find a 2010 GMC for just under $10,000 with just over 100,000 miles on it. Or you can go for the Chevy Colorado, your choice. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe with notification bells. That way you're alerted next time I upload a new video. Question for you, what was your favorite pickup truck from this list? And if you think I left one out that would have been a really good choice, make sure and comment below. Let me know what that is. Like always, thanks for watching. Till next time.